Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I put together these My Little Pony Rainbow Pudding Desserts. Enjoy the video guys. Alright guys, so here are the things that you're going to need. I'm going to be using two boxes of Vanilla Instant Pudding. These are the bigger boxes. They're uh, 5.1 ounces. And um, you will need three cups of cold milk per box. So you will need a measuring cup plus three cups of milk per box. And I found these uh, mini pedestal cups, the little plastic cups are really, really neat. I thought these would look nice, give you a nice little presentation. I got these at a party supply store. And I will be using six uh, colors, edible food colors. I got six bowls and six spoons. You can use the hand whisk or I'm going to be using my hand mixer that whisks everything really quickly. Uh, I had uh, six sandwich uh, bags and some scissors to snip off just the corner there so I can pipe my uh, pudding in there nice and neat and quickly and um, that way I don't have to use a spoon it's just a lot quicker and neater okay also you will need some homemade whipped cream I do suggest making your homemade whipped cream do not use the can kind the can kind will melt really really quickly and I will be using some uh, piping gel and I mentioned in another video how I like to use this piping gel to help help stabilize the whipped cream that will help hold its shape and it won't let it melt so quickly um, so I do recommend you using the piping gel so you will need some uh, whipped cream your piping gel a piping bag and I'm using a, a 1m tip but you can use any tip that you like um, these of course because it wouldn't be my little pony dessert if it, it wasn't for these toppers I got these online and these are some little rings that are normally used for cupcake toppers and I'm going to be using some colorful sprinkles just to put some color at the top uh, but you don't have to but I, I will be using these and you'll be uh, needing some um, a small bowl with um, with a whisk uh, for your um, hand mixer and I do recommend sticking this in the freezer for a good 15 minutes uh, before putting this all together that will help uh, make your whipped cream a lot nicer and a little bit of powdered sugar and you can use vanilla to sweeten um, your uh, whipped cream a little bit more all right guys I think we're done let's get started okay so the very first thing that you need to do is to pour in your three cups of cold milk and then go ahead and whisk that and of course I'm going to use my hand mixer And I think I got everything. So it's going to be a bit watery. And um, you're just going to set that in the fridge. It says there for five minutes. So um, I just leave it there until it's nice and firm and it doesn't like jiggle anymore. It's like really, really firm. All right, guys. So I let uh, it chill for 10 minutes, even though it only said five minutes. And, uh, but I wanted to make sure that it got nice and chilled. As you see here, um, I already uh, distributed some of them in the bowls. This would be my second box that got chilled. Um, I had an empty uh, bowl because it only gave me five half cups from that one box was when it's su supposed to have given me six. So um, I was supposed to have gotten another six half here that would give me six cups. Um, which I needed six cups for six different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, uh, with I got some measuring cups. Uh, yeah, some measuring cups. These are half. Um, so I did half a cup for each bowl. And if I add another half, I'm not going to have enough for all six because it didn't give me the six half cups that I needed. So I'm going to go ahead and use a third of a cup, and I'm going to distribute a third of a cup per bowl. So I'm just going to distribute whatever I have left 
sort of evenly on each one. So I'm using pretty much a tablespoon for each. So basically half a cup, a, a, a third of a cup, and a tablespoon. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, use all my colors in one color per bowl. Okay, so I did notice that it took between eight and nine drops of the liquid and about three drops of the AmeriColor gel food color. And um, you just mix it in. And probably the darker colors are the ones that are going to need more. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I got three small cups. Now I'm gonna do three colors at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and put my plastic bag in there. And I did the purple, blue, and I'm gonna do the green. So I'll put everything in there. I'm just going to snip a tiny bit there, that way I can have some control in filling them up. Okay, so roughly I was able to get six of these little 5-ounce uh, uh, cups. I used everything, and um, I'm going to tap these down after I do each color, sort of to even them out so they can be a little bit smooth. So now I'm going to continue on with the next color. Okay, so on with the next color, I'm going to snip that little piece, and I'm going to fill... Like I said, eyeball it. All right, so I continued on with the rest of the colors. Now I'm going to make the whipped cream so I can put the rest of the toppings on and we'll be done. Okay, like I said about adding the piping gel, right where it's about to almost be uh, done, go ahead and add a teaspoon. All right, whipped cream is done, so let's get ready to pipe. All right, so all that's left is to put the little uh, toppers on and some sprinkles. Again, these are optional, but as you see, it gives it such a pretty uh, color at the top. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. A few recommendations before I go. Keep these refrigerated before serving, of course, but also leave the sprinkles last, like right before serving them. You can add them on. That way they don't get soggy in the fridge. Also, I highly recommend making your home uh, made whipped cream and adding the piping gel in there. If you use the can, the whipped cream will warp and melt rather quickly. So this will last longer and it gives you a really nice sturdy uh, whipped cream. All right, guys, I will let you go. I thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Share it if you like it. And of course, subscribe. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a good one, guys.